at the time of the detonations in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, almost nobody knew about the effects of exposure to radiations. Nowadays, these risks have been studied and understood, and the risk of exposure to radiation would challenge the humanitarian organizations to attend the site of detonation. Besides, at that time, uh, the US government was the only one possessing the nuclear bomb, and there was no risk of escalation. Today, the situation is way different, and the risk of escalation is uh, real. In the case of a nuclear explosion today in city centers, the amount of casualties and demolition would be so high that it would far exceed the capacity of humanitarian organization to provide assistance. Because hospitals would be destroyed and most of the roads would be destroyed that it would make it impossible to arrive to the site. In addition, in most cities, first responders are based in city centers and it's most likely that they would be at victims of the detonation. A single strategic nuclear bomb is about 40 times more powerful than the one used in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So up to today, no state or humanitarian organization are able to draw up plans to cope with these dramatic consequences of a nuclear detonation. The best preparation would be to never use again a nuclear bomb. Today we have more than 50 years of data showing the effects of radiations on human health and scientifically proving how much uh, nuclear explosion uh, is indiscriminate and have effects lasting in time on over generation. In addition, a recent environmental study showed that a regional nuclear conflict might lead to a global cooling that could have negative effects on agriculture for decades and could lead to starvation.